Hi guys, it's Heath here from Belfield Music and today I'm with Clint. Uh, Clint's a singer and guitarist from the Metallica tribute show Damage Inc. Uh, the guys are touring Australia at the moment. They've just done a couple of gigs in Queensland. You've got a couple coming up in Victoria and yep, Perth yep. soon. Yep, yep, looking forward to those. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we kind of look after the guys while they're on tour and we just wanted to have a bit of a chat to Clint today just about the gigs coming up. Uh, how you got involved with um, Damage Inc. and yeah, tell us a bit about your story. So, um, well, geez, it's a, it's a long story because I've been in the band for uh, nearly 19 years now. So, um, so I've always loved Metallica growing up and then um, pretty much I just wanted to, I wanted to be James Hetfield and I wanted to play in a band. So um, I just sort of always tried to find people that wanted to play Metallica and then um, it's sort of, became apparent that to be able to do gigs, I needed to find better players rather than just do it with my school friends. So went out looking for a few other dudes and then, um, yeah, we, we ended up forming Damage Inc. And that was back in March of 2004. So, um, yeah, and then it's just sort of progressed from there. And each year we, it's gotten stronger and tighter and, um, and you know, we've achieved more and more goals each year. So, yeah, it's just, it's, it's been amazing. So, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about the shows that you've just been doing and, and got coming up. Yeah, so we're doing the uh, pretty crazy crowds. I hear. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's always a bit loose, but it's it's that's what makes it it makes it great. So um, yeah, the, the the gigs that we're doing coming up. Uh, so we've got like the 40th anniversary tour. Where we're playing two songs from every album, like all the major releases, and um, and also too like Metallica just released a new song. We're planning on doing that. So yeah, right. Also, so. Um, it's going to be over, well over three hours worth of material we got that we're playing for, and it's just like just from start to finish, non-stop, us playing. There's no breaks in the middle. There's nothing. It's just full on Metallica for over three hours, non-stop in your face. Hope you like it. <laughs> awesome. Well, Clint's going to give us a bit of a rig rundown on your live and rehearsal gear that you use for your shows. Yep, so it's all pretty simple for me. Um, being a singer um, and playing guitar at the same time, I don't want to have too much tap dancing to do around and trying to find my sounds. So it's pretty simple. I use the Line 6 Pod, uh, the X3, um, which has a little pedal that I can select my sounds, four little buttons. And so it's easy for me to do, you know, I can just look out of the corner of my eye when I'm singing up against the microphone and know what I'm going to get um, when I'm changing my um, effects. So I've got my um, heavy sound on this, which which is a blend between a dual rec and a Marshall. Yeah. Um, and then my clean tone, which is like heavily influenced by Hetfield's clean tone on the Jazz Roland, um, the chorus that he uses. So it's on that. And then I can just add effects depending on what songs we do throughout the night um, I can change it and uh, it's very simple to use so and the tone on this like when we bring it when I bring it out people are like mm, a pod and I'm like dude wait till you hear it <laughs> and then after the gig they're like man I cannot believe the sounds you're pulling from that yeah, so absolutely you know running a full Metallica show and it works well with what Denny uses so we've worked at our tones so that they mesh and they work together rather than fighting each other yeah they work with each other awesome. so yeah it's very simple and um, yeah, I love it. It's very dependable. Same sound every time we plug in, so it's great. Easy.
and yep. these accents tell us a bit Guitars about what Guitar wise, so yeah, the new one, new Hepfield, the camo that's come out. So um, haven't actually used it live yet, but can't wait to, to use it. Um, also, I've got the Iron Cross, which I use for some faster, faster songs. It's nice and nice and easy to and light, and uh, yeah, really rips. Um, and then also I've got a um, Ken Lawrence guitar, which, well, sorry, Ken Lawrence bass guitar. So it's a Warmoth build, um, which don't they don't exist those shapes anymore. So I was pretty lucky to get that when I did. I built that and put that together. So it's not an actual Chinese ripoff. So <laughs> it's a Warmoth built that I've um, put together. So um, I'm sure you get yeah. asked that a bit. Oh, oh yeah. all the time, yeah. every gig day. Everyone just assumes it's all it's a Chinese ripoff, but it's not. So now you know. <laughs> so yeah. Everything's just nice and simple for me, so I don't have to worry about too much. It's all dependable, and I don't really have to worry about too much. Just set it up, and I'm, I'm ready to go. Right, well, thanks heaps for that, Clint. That was awesome. Uh, and just tell us a little bit about your final shows coming up and yeah, hopefully some guys can catch on the road. Yeah, yeah, so we've got the last couple coming up for this 40th anniversary tour that we're doing. So we've got Melbourne um, coming up this weekend and then uh, in Perth later on next year. And depending on what happens, maybe a few shows sporadically in between those, uh, those two gigs. But um, yeah, come see us, hit us up on the socials, um, Demi Jink, Metallica Tribute. Uh, we're on Instagram, Facebook. Um, yeah, just come talk to us after gigs even, you know, and talk to us about gear. We love doing that and have no problem doing it. So, but uh, yeah, make sure you come to Belfield to get your gear. Yeah. Nice. All right. We'll yeah. catch you out on the road, man. Beautiful. Thanks for coming in. Cheers. Thanks very much. Cheers. Good one.